You know, I don't get too excited that often with new tech coming in. It's uh, not always that revolutionary, but I have to say today I'm a, a little excited about these new Ray-Ban glasses. Uh, these are the latest from Ray-Ban. They're Wayfair Ray-Ban Stories glasses. They've partnered up with Facebook. And so essentially these are sunglasses that have built-in cameras that allow you to take pictures and videos to post to your social channel, Facebook. So we're gonna have uh, a little unboxing here and then we're gonna try them out as well. If uh, you like tech, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the little notification button to make sure that you get notified every time we have new videos coming out. Looks like it's fairly easy to get this thing open. I've tried sunglasses before that uh, had cameras built into it. I mean, they've had them out for a few years, uh, but they weren't always that stylish, so you know if it's Ray-Ban, they're gonna be pretty uh, sharp looking. Well, it wasn't that elegant. Okay, so we've got the sticker open, and now we have the box. So it comes uh, with a case here, obviously. The case can actually apparently uh, hold three charges worth uh, for the glasses. Oh, that's pretty cool, look at that. It takes, uh, what they say is about 180 minutes to fully charge the case. And as far as the glasses are concerned, the battery inside lasts uh, about six hours. Uh, so that's, that's not bad. And to fully charge the glasses, it's about 70 minutes. And if you need 50% charge, you can do that in 30 minutes in a pinch. So let's check this out here. Look at these. These are pretty snazzy. Let's gonna try these on. I got a big head, so I'm hoping they don't look too crazy on here. So. These aren't smart glasses in the sense that you're gonna have a little heads-up display or anything. It's just basically a built-in camera and also speakers uh, on the side here so that uh, you can uh, hear your favorite songs. It's got a built-in uh, three microphone array as well. And as far as the re uh, resolution of the photos, I think it's 2592 by 1944 and uh, 1184 by 1184 for the video at 30 frames a second. So that's gonna be square videos, which it's you know specifically made for social and Facebook and Instagram. Kind of cool. They're comfortable. And apparently they come in three different styles uh, as well. So the next uh, thing we're gonna do here, and I'm gonna put my other glasses on, is uh, pair them up with uh, the app. So it's using, uh, the, get the name here again, the Facebook View app and to see where we turn this. Okay, there's a button up top here. So hopefully that turns these on. And we're just gonna go through the process here now on the app. Oh, this is good. They actually tell you where to turn the glasses on. Follow the instructions. Okay, wait for the LED to turn green. Okay, I'll try this again. Come on. Green is hard to come by. Well, I've quickly discovered that they don't come charged. And uh, apparently in the case here, there's two little uh, uh, paper uh, tags that you have to take off the charging contacts uh, to make that happen. So we're just gonna spend a few minutes putting these uh, lovely Ray-Bans back in the case and uh, charging it up so that we can actually finish doing our little unboxing and review. So I'm just gonna plug that in and we wait. Well, now that we've actually charged the glasses, we can probably use them properly. So the next step is loading up the Facebook View app, and uh, this will allow us to sync the glasses with uh, the app to actually get the videos and photos going back and forth. So I'm gonna turn these on now, and because we've charged them, they should turn on. Let's pull the power button down, and the little LED light should be blinking. The little LED light should be blinking. Okay, so apparently there's a power button on the other side here, which I didn't know about. Again, it's always good to follow directions. Now, I'm gonna hold the button down until it turns green. Power buttons are awesome. Maybe these things were charged before and I didn't know. We'll never know now. Okay, so hold the button down here. Oh, the white LED will blink for up to a minute while your glasses turn on. 
When it turns solid green, you're ready to continue. Solid green. Woohoo! Put your glasses in pairing mode now. Slide and hold the power switch for five seconds and release when the light blinks blue. Okay, so there's that power button again that I didn't know about before because I didn't read the instructions. I'm gonna hold that. Oh, now it's going blue. Next. Oh, no glasses phone. Try again. Looking for the glasses. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So that's a lesson. Follow instructions. Parent Connect, yes. So we're doing this on an Android phone right now. Uh, you can do it on an iPhone as well. It wants access to my contacts and call history. I don't know why, but okay. Now they're activating. That's kind of cool. Soon I'll be taking pictures. Oh, I'm offline. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. What? Okay, we had to switch over to an iPhone because we botched up the Android one here. Yeah, they're interesting. Like they, they look like normal glasses, which is cool. You can tell there's a little bit more thickness uh, in the arms. The arms are definitely thicker. You can, you can totally notice that, but it's not that bad. Like if you had these on your head, uh, I don't think people looking at you would totally notice the thickness of, of the arms. It's, it's, uh, it's thinner than a lot of the other smart glasses I've tried. I've tried the, uh, the North glasses. Uh, they went out of business. So I don't have the prescription glasses. I, you know, you can get that done. These are just uh, the clear lenses uh, with the, the blue blocking, uh, blocks out the blue light. Uh, I'd be interested to try them with the actual uh, sun glass lenses in. Although, you know, I'm in Canada, so how many months do I get to use that? <laughs> but yeah, they're nice, not too bad. I don't feel like I've got like some Borg thing on my head. So that main button up here that uh, I've been pushing to turn these things on, which wasn't the power button, is the photo button. So if I hold it down, they take a picture. You can hear a little, little beep. So to take a picture, you've got to hold the button down and you can hear the click. You might not be able to hear the click. And to start a video, you just click it once and it starts. So Theoretically, yeah, you can see the little light on the, the front of the glasses. It's actually recording right now. And to stop the recording, it's just a simple click of the button again. That's cool. So this whole pad on the side here is actually uh, touch sensitive as well. You can swipe, you can, and there's like some haptic feedback as I'm doing that. So that turns the volume up. Swipe back to turn the volume down. That's kind of cool. Here's, this is interesting. So it's connecting to the glasses right now and it's downloading the photo from the glasses. Now I'm recording video, so let's have a look around here. I'm just gonna move my head back and forth just to see how it handles the actual movement. Stop it. So you can actually hear a little audio, uh, audible kind of beep when you start and stop it. And to take a picture, I gotta hold down the button. You can hear that. I'm gonna just take a picture of the setback here. Try the voice. Hey, Facebook, take a photo. That's cool, it worked. Hey, Facebook, start a video. So I heard the little beep, and then up uh, in the corner here, so out of the corner of my eye, I can actually see the recording light is on as well. So we'll take another video, just for fun. Hey, Facebook, stop the video. Oh, so now it's loading some more of the videos. It's not super fast. So they've got some uh, basic controls at the bottom. I'm in the video right now. So I can go into the, uh, looks like a, an adjustment. So I can, I don't know what adjust means. Oh, brightness, sharpen, that kind of stuff. Uh, there's also enhance. I think that's just like a one button enhance, it seems, yeah. And then I can also crop the video. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. So by default, it looks like it just kind of goes into a square mode, which is great for a lot of social posts but I can also do a portrait mode for the video, and I can also do a landscape mode as well. Uh, try making your first flashback. Oh, I see. That's kind of cool. So it's got kind of a fun little motion move here where I can add text in as well. So Mike is cool. Same. 
So you've probably been reading a lot about the privacy concerns about these glasses. And yeah, you should be. Like obviously if you've got uh, cameras built into uh, sunglasses or glasses like this, uh, that uh, does open up, uh, you know, all sorts of privacy issues. You know, they've obviously tried to alleviate some of those because the, uh, the little recording light comes on. Uh, I don't think it would take much to actually put a little piece of tape over that if you were so inclined. Uh, and hopefully people can actually see that there's kind of little camera lenses uh, on the side here. But I, I think, you know, we're just in that world now anyway. There's like dozens, if not hundreds of cameras we go by every day anyway. Uh, so I think we're going to see how the world and society kind of reacts to these types of glasses uh, as more and more of them come out and there will be more. Well, we're going to be testing these out uh, a bit more and uh, doing uh, more of a review on them. But uh, first thing out of the box, took a bit because we had to charge them and then actually get them paired up. That might put some people off if it doesn't pair right away, but uh, I'm kind of excited. This could be a fun thing. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification tab to get notified when our next videos come out.